This week we're hanging out with conscious clothing connoisseur Stephanie Spiegel from Rag Trade Happy Clothing Company. She's only 23 and has an amazing store where she specializes in recycled and locally designed clothing. Take it away, Stephanie. Organic clothing is made from organic cotton. Some things you really gotta think about when you're buying clothing is how the actual plant is grown. Are they putting tons of chemicals on it or is it organically grown? Do you know what, do you know what kind of chemicals you're wearing today? Basically everything in here, the, the clothing exchange is, it is really recycling when you, when you look at it. You're recycling your old clothing that you don't want, but maybe someone else wants. It's just, you know, one person's trash is another one's treasure. 34 cents a shirt cheap. Um, in the boutique section, it's basically all local designers. And, you know, when I started, I really didn't have that much, but it's like if you built it, they will come. In the mall, those clothes are imported probably from China or India. You know, you look at the tags, you got to think of all the fuel it's used to get, you know, the, the, the crate onto the boat, to get the boat out of the port, over across the seas, and then put it on a train or a truck to finally get to the store. It's really a lot and you, you should consider things like that when you're buying clothing. We do events, we do some guerrilla gardening, also called environmental graffiti, and basically that's going out and finding unused public space and gardening it at night with a bunch of friends. So there will be flowers everywhere in Miami. Well, Stephanie, you definitely inspired us to do some of our own gardening. And to tie it all together, we answer this viewer question. I'm a horticulture student and do a lot of gardening. Do you have any ideas for how to transform old jeans into overalls? You bet we do. One old jeans and a new overalls lesson coming up. Okay, get out two old pairs of jeans and starting with the bigger pair, use the seam ripper to remove the bottom part of each belt loop. Then remove the entire top part of the jeans and put it aside till later. Now rip the seams out of both sides of the jeans. Take out the second pair, and using the length of the first pair as a guideline, cut both legs out of the front of the jeans. Pin those pieces onto each side of the first pair, and when you're done, they will look like this. Now sew along your pin lines. Take the second pair and cut the remaining parts of the legs off. Now cut down each side and down the middle so that the front and back are two separate pieces. Take the front piece and pin it to the back part of the first pair. Fold in the sides and pin. Now take the butt piece and rip the crotch seam up a little so it lays flat. Then pin it to the front part of the first pair. Fold in the sides to make sort of a triangle shape, pin in place and sew along all the pin lines you just created. When we return, we're going to finish the overall lesson and spotlight some cool conscious clothing designers. Stay tuned! Take out one of those leftover leg pieces and cut it into an equal rectangle. Fold it in half and cut down the crease. Pin both strips to opposite sides of the back of your overalls. After you try them on, connect the other end of each strip to a separate belt loop in front by making a slit in the strip and tying it on like so. Now take another leftover piece, cut two strips out of it, and gather the sides of the overalls. Then poke a hole through all layers of fabric on each side and thread a strip through. And you're done! You can even take your leftover pieces and make an awesome utility belt. We got tons of awesome submissions this week, like Andy Mundy, who made this cool stencil on a laser cutter at his work and spray painted it onto a tee. Noni sent in this revamped white tee that she did out of sheer boredom. And T-Shirt Killer made this sweet one-sleeved off-the-shoulder number. Then there's Madane Bane 17 that just found the site the other day and has already made two bikinis and a pair of board shorts. One of the most incredible recycled clothing designers we've seen is Anastasia Louise of Bad Uncle Sista. She's a San Francisco-based artist who uses oddly shaped fabric to construct amazing one-of-a-kind pieces that are comfortable to wear. But if it's unique jewelry you're looking for, you should definitely visit Amiko O's site, rewearstyle.com. 
she makes incredible jewelry out of old toys and game board pieces. If you're into making your own garbage couture, you should definitely join the Trash and Street team in your area. And if you're lucky enough to be in Brooklyn on July 27th, you should attend the Trash and Street Team Trunk Show. Remember, keep on sending in your stuff and hitting up the forms. After all, it's your thread banger. We leave you now with the musical stylings of the Willows. Check the blog for the complete video. Till next week, we're out of here. I want to work.